file permissions can be changed using the command chmod. So to check the file permissions of a given file or directory we can use the command ls along with the option l. Now you can see the permissions that are given on a file here. Read write execution further user followed by the read write execu uh, execute permissions for the group followed by for others. So consider the file ex. ex is the file which is having only read permission and execute permission for the user. Read and execute further group. Read and execute further other people. And now I want to change the file permissions to all permissions that is I want to set read write execute permissions to all the people then what I can do is I can use the command chmod with triple seven followed by the file name so check now now check the file permissions again after changing the file permissions now check for the file ex the file permissions are set to read write x read write x read write x for all the type of people whereas previously it was only read write read and execute permission for all the people this is how you can set the file permissions and what about these 777 it is not a simple number it's calculated like this the first it, it's an octal number the first number indicates the file permission the first digit in this number indicates the permissions related to the user and the next seven indicates the second seven indicates the permissions given to the group and the last seven indicates the permissions that that are given to the other people so like we have uh, nine permission characters if we want to set a permission character a permission then that particular binary number should be one say for example i want to set free ride and execute permission for the user so read write and execute should be set to one that is it should be three so three ones that is so three ones if you convert that to decimal then it is equivalent to seven that's what this seven is similarly the other digits also and now i want to change the permissions of the same file to read and execute alone read and execute means among the three binary numbers first bit should be set to 1 the second bit should be set to 0 and also the third bit should be set to 1 that is the binary number is 101 so 101 equivalent number in decimal is 5 so for the user the permissions will be set to 101 that is it is read write and execute and similarly I am setting the same permissions to the other people also now check the permissions using the ls command now it is set to read and execute to all the people this is called as the octal representation of file permission and we have one more representation called as the symbolic codes which contains plus minus and equal and equal to Say for example for the file here ex the permissions are read and execute for the user and I want to add the write permission also to the user then what I can do is user plus write permission on the file ex so here u indicates user and p 
plus w means you are appending the permission to write permission existing permissions will be there and also you are giving one more permission that is the write permission now check the result now for the user it is set to read write and execute so that is how we can use the symbolic codes say for example I want to remove the permission of other people and I want to remove the permission execute permission from the other people so then the command should be chmod o other people means o here o and I want to reduce the permission so the symbolic code should be minus and I want to reduce the permission that is execute so it should be chmod o minus x followed by the file name and now check for the result and now the execute permission is removed from the other people check one more example with other symbolic code that is equal to and now I want to set the permission for the group people group means G and I want to set the permission so it should be equal to and I want to give read permission alone to the group so now the command is chmod space g equal to r for the group I am assigning the permission read on the file ex now again check the result now if you consider group for the group only the read permission is given and all the other permissions are not given so that is how you can use the symbolic quotes along with the chmod command